Hello and welcome to BMAD in Revit Tutorials. Today we have two topics, uh, columns, easy ways how to place columns on your drawings and uh, drawings visibility graphics will be second topic. Now I saw questions on Facebook and other social media how uh, to solve problem when columns uh, join with walls and disappear and how to, in a easy way, how to place columns on our drawings. Now I'm selecting the architectural column. We have structural and architectural column. There are difference with uh, these two families. Now I will uh, just show you the problem when we select the architectural column. We cannot put it in a uh, on on the place where we want it and when we place it it's joined with walls and disappear now as you can see i try uh, in a few different ways to place it on this wall here and it disappears uh, automatically join with uh, it's automatically joined with walls all right now i will delete this and to make our uh, work easy uh, we will we need to create grid lines and these grid lines will make our job uh, much easier all right now when i finish the placing these grid lines uh, we will select the architectural column and you will see how is uh, much easier for us to put to place the columns uh, on the drawings all right that's it now i will rename these grid lines here here i will put the letters all right and that's it now when we try to place oh sorry i will select architectural column when i try to place it it will re reject it because here we have problem with uh, architecture column family now i will edit family here we have automatically join geometry we need to deselect this and we will reload family now all right now when i place this column here we don't have the problem anymore and the grid lines make uh, placing uh, columns easier all right now i will copy this or i will uh, choose the uh, architectural column and place the columns on other uh, points on this small village house now you can see we don't have problems with uh, disappear where uh, columns disappear or automatically joins as you could see we just uh, went to edit family and deselect automatic join column with uh, walls and now our architecture column are visible all right there is one thing more about columns Uh, just to show you now i will uh, i will select automatic joining parameter just to show you if you already have placed a uh, column on the drawings you go to edit family deselect automatic joins and now here you can see uh, the columns that's uh, that is already placed before editing the family 
is invisible again you can use uncut but that won't solve your problem you just need to delete this column here and uh, place it uh, again sorry column architectural column all right that's it this is solution if you have already placed columns so before starting with placing columns on the drawing you just need to check if this uh, family is edited you just need to deselect uh, those uh, automatic joins parameter from uh, family now we have also structural columns here yeah uh, i just need to change the base level and top level so this structure column will be visible we don't have same problem with structural columns because uh, structural columns has different parameters in family this is uh, one uh, different family this is a, just column and this is our, uh, structural columns now when we go to family of structural columns you can see here we have different type of parameters and uh, in these uh, columns we have automatic automatically join parameter which we don't have in structural columns all right so if you choose structural columns uh, they won't disappear in drawings you just need to uh, modify or just uh, top level and base level of the columns now you can see these structural columns are visible in this drawing here and our grid lines that we created make our uh, work easier all right now i will uh, show you how to adjust the visibility graphic settings of this wall as you can see i here uh, my structural elements uh, doesn't have this white line and i want uh, that structure part of the walls will be wider than than the uh, than other layers so we will solve this problem from here we go to visibility graphics settings and here we have structure finish one finish two and other layers from the walls all right now just to show you i will go to edit uh, here in this project this is one uh, small uh, village house project i create insulation uh, part of the wall uh, as a separate wall this method makes my uh, modeling easier also later when i uh, uh, export information about these projects uh, i develop a method that is easier for me for some projects it's easier to separate these two parts of the wall for I, i'm speaking about exterior walls so here i separate the structural part and the uh, thermal insulation part so when i want to uh, wall doors and walls to be visible on the elevation use i just need to join these two walls but i have problem here my structural wall uh, doesn't have wide lines you can he see here all right when i join them the line between them become thinner so i will show you the solution for this problem first i will check here this is structure all right and i will go on the exterior part and here we have structure two this structure need to be finished one or finished two 
depend. Now I'm going to view graphics settings and from here uh, structure is four white lines and others are two. All right, now you can see when I select this here. Okay, now you can see only structure part of the drawings will be wider. Now you can see uh, the walls, the structure part of the walls is wider. And other finish one and finish two are thinner. From here, you can change the height of the lines. All right, and that's it, dear friends. From here, you could saw how to solve the problem with columns when where columns disappear and join automatically with walls, and how to place the columns in an easy way and also how to solve problem with graphic visibility settings. Thank you very much and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and share my works with your friend and uh, colleagues.